Hey friends, welcome back to another video here on our YouTube channel. I am Shantae and in this video I have my oldest daughter here, Kalia. And if you are new to our channel, you are unaware that my baby is black and a Filipino. And we do a bunch of videos and tutorials on hairstyles and hair care. To all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, how are you doing? I hope you have been having a beautiful and blessed week. The weather has been beautiful. I'm trying to be positive and stay on a positive note with this gorgeous weather they swing it through after all the cold and the chills and the rain so anyways let's go ahead and jump straight into it so i am doing a braid out on my oldest daughter kalia and she has the thicky thick thick hair as you can see so i'm trying out some new hair products i've been trying these products for about a month now i'm a little late on uploading this so this is probably about a month old anyways but this was my first attempt using the pattern beauty hair products on kalia's hair and since Tracy Ellis Ross is the one who created this brand and she is a mixed woman. I figured this would be a great product to try out on my mixed daughters, especially Kalia, because it can be challenging to find products that help define and moisturize her curls. So I went in first using the leave-in conditioner and I use that as my detangler. Definitely has so much slip smells great has this nice light floral smell to it now when it comes to detangling Kalia's hair I always go in with like a pick comb or a wide tooth comb that just kind of helps with getting most of the knots out and then I go behind it with a tangle teaser to smooth that thing out and it's also going to help me distribute that product Moving on to the second product, I'm going in with another Pattern Beauty product, and this is the Styling Custard. Now, this one kind of has like this soupy feel. It's very more, much more loose, has a gel-like texture to it, not very creamy at all. And I decide to kind of go in with a nice palmful of that and distribute it through this section, and then I'm going to begin braiding her hair. Now, the coiling custard, the styling custard rather, has a lot more slip to it than the leave-in conditioner. So it was a little hard gripping her hair, trying to make sure I had a nice and neat braid. When it comes to a successful braid out for Kalia's hair, I like to make sure that her braids have a nice even amount of hair through each section and had this nice juiciness and shine as well as moisturization, okay? So I wasn't quite sure if too much was too much, if too much was too little, or if too little won't enough. So this is really an experiment to see how this braid out is going to turn out. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was really excited for these products to really work on Kalia's hair. One, because homegirl is a little on the pricey side. Pattern Beauty is definitely a luxurious hair care brand. Most of her products are north of $25. Now, for me, my general spending is anywhere from you know, $15, $12, $18. Anything above $22 you hit in my pockets a little deep, but I didn't mind because you get so much for the price. Now, Tracy Ellis Ross has these products that come in jump at sizes as, as she calls them. And they're just huge bottles, which is great because Kalia for one has a lot of hair. And for two, I got four heads to do, including myself, my three daughters. So I'm just moving this right along and I do my sections kind of big. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't do small ones because for one, Kalia don't want to sit here all night while I'm trying to braid her hair and for two my fingers be getting arthritis and cramps in them I just I can't handle that amount of braiding so I keep these sections pretty good but I don't lack in the definition for the most part when it comes to her braid outs but since we're using new products I'm not quite sure how this is going to work now I'm repeating those steps over and over again I'm going in with that leave-in conditioner that's going to help me define or detangle and define as well as moisturize then I'm going in with that styling custard now styling custard says you can use it however you like so I chose the braid out because I feel like with a braid out if you fell in me there you might not be the best product okay that's just my personal opinion though because I feel like a braid out is a very easy natural hairstyle that anyone with little to no skills can achieve. So Kalia rocked that those braids, those plaits rather, for a couple of days before I got back around to taking them out. Now I'm not gonna lie, my first initial thought I was like her hair looks a little dry. I don't think that styling custard and that leave-in conditioner was giving her the right amount of moisture. And uh, 
it can happen when it comes to styling her braids, braid outs and twist outs. Now I should have went in with a heavier cream, especially since I realized that that styling custard was a little loose and wasn't as sticky thick as I like it. But again, this is trial and error. So I can learn what is going to work and what it's going to not work. And as I'm taking off the braid, it is a lot more frizzier than what I want it to be. And it definitely does not have the shine and moisture that I love to see when I start taking out her braids. So I had to resort to putting some oil in her hair but the shine just was not shining and I was a little offended by that. So I went in with some hair oil I had on the side and I coated my fingers with those to take out her braid out and it didn't help much. It still looked very dry and it still was a little too frizzy. When I take out her braids and they are not as defined, I know that it's not going to last long. The more defined it is, it can last her anywhere from five to six days. This style right here, how her braids look right now as I'm taking them out, this isn't going to last her no more than two or three days before humidity and all of that begins to set in. And next thing you know, my homegirl walking around with a lion's mane. This is what she's looking like after I've removed all of the plaits. And again, like I said, I just, it was not my fave, but it could have been that I used the wrong combination of products. I might just need to hit the drawing board again. So I tried to salvage this though, because she had to take pictures today and it looks cute for today. It's just not going to pass my longevity test. And that is a big, you know, the fail for me. So I'm going in with some Shine In Jam hair gel to slick down them edges for her real quick to make it nice and clean. And we are out the door. So that's going to complete this video, guys. Let me know if you've tried the Pattern Beauty hair products and what you think of it. I know a lot of people question it, especially my coily girls, my type four hair girls. So I'm definitely going to try it on myself and make sure you check that video out as well. And you can keep up with all of our hair journeys and hair care and hairstyles by clicking that subscribe button. And to keep watching, just click the video below. We greatly appreciate having you here. Be blessed and be safe.